hi it's me obviously because this is my channel I just wanted to make a quick video today I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible um, because there's something that I want to get off my chest and there's something that I want to update you on and tell you about since I announced my pregnancy um, if you didn't know I'm just over four months pregnant I've had so much support from a lot of you which is amazing and I can't thank you enough I've had some really lovely comments on um, both my YouTube videos and on my Instagram account uh, if you didn't know I'm on Instagram it's same as on here AZ of my mental head so feel free to follow me however I've had some really difficult comments and difficult things from people when I say difficult I mean really really shitty really nasty and not appropriate the first one I remember was somebody saying I can't be anorexic if I'm pregnant I'll address that in a minute and then in the last week I've had um, mainly just one person but I've had a few I mean normally I block these types of people but you'll understand why in a minute but I've had some people commenting on some of my early videos telling me how I look better then than I do now I was a lot thinner then again I will address that in a minute and telling me how like uh, I had their perfect body and all this I know these are people that are very warped and I don't like the word pro-Anna because I don't think anyone is pro-Anna I think people are pro-thinness pro-Anna is like saying I want a disease I want an illness there may be some people like that but I think the majority of the people that write this shit are people that just want to be thin they don't want to have to deal with the mental illness and the battles every day that you have to go through when you have anorexia so it's not pro anna it's just pro thinness um but i don't know what else to call them other than pro anna because there isn't any other word that is pro thinness doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well as pro anna comments about my weight in any form are not taken easily they affect me greatly um, even if it's something someone saying you look healthy you look well I can't deal with that as I said uh, in regards to the comment that I said about just now about how I can't be anorexic if I'm pregnant you can be anorexic and pregnant because there are people that uh, have their periods all throughout their illness no matter what weight they are I'm aware that I am a higher weight than I was when I first started these videos when I first started the channel and that is because a I had just come out of hospital then I was in a neurological rehab unit and I hadn't eaten for the whole time I was in there because I was very unhappy in there and I wanted to not eat. Quite simple. I'm I'm not advocating that, I'm just saying that's why I was that way. Um, I also was drinking very, very little, so I was very dehydrated. So yes, I have put on weight since then. It's not because I'm in recovery. It, recovery is not something that I've ever aspired to because it's not something that I can relate to. To me, I feel like I will never be free of this illness. So the best way that I can deal with it for myself is by learning to manage it, learning to manage the symptoms so that I can have a life and trying my best to deal to deal with things, just getting by. With recovery, it's all focused on weight gain and weight loss and all of that and that's something that I want to try and get away from and it's something that was been pushed on me by the eating disorder teams. It's all about weight gain. For me, it's about how I'm dealing in myself, what I am eating, um, what I'm not eating because my weight will do anything regardless of what I'm eating or not eating as I've spoken about in the past. Um, because I've been very extreme I've gone for long periods of time without eating anything so my body is used to running on very low so if I'm eating anything at all I will put on weight I only lose weight if I'm not eating anything at all now I don't this isn't I don't want this video to be about uh, eating and not eating and all of that I'm not trying to upset anyone I'm just saying facts here because of what I want to the point I want to try and get across I'm aware I was thinner then as this person kindly pointed out yes that may be what some people aspire to be like if I could look like that again then I probably would if it wasn't going to jeopardize my health however I am pregnant I have a baby growing inside me this is something that I am doing my very best to try and nourish myself for my baby looking after myself is not something that comes easily to me feeding myself is not something that comes easily to me I'm doing it because I have a baby if I was if I wasn't pregnant I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing I am really struggling in my head I mean I can deal with like my growing bump like my stomach which has finally blossomed thankfully but in terms of the rest of my body which inevitably uh, inevitably will get a bit bigger when you're pregnant it's hard and it's it's a real head fuck especially when I have people commenting shit like that at me and it's not what I need. I started this channel because I want to raise awareness of the dangers of the complications of eating disorders, the things that people don't know about. I want to try and reduce the stigma around mental health by being as open as I can. I want other people to feel like they can be open. I want this to feel like a safe place to pe for people. 
um, while educating people and making anyone that watches this feel less alone. I hope. I obviously don't know if I achieve that, but that's what I want. I do not want to be anorexic porn. My highest watch videos are videos, uh, my earlier ones, I've got like uh, 15,000 to 25,000 views on, on some of them because I was very thin. That's a bit shitty. Those videos aren't even, the, the content isn't great. The editing isn't great. I have grown, I hope, as someone who puts out YouTube videos because I have learnt along the way. I'm more confident, but the videos that I do now don't get as many views. I'm fairly certain because I'm not thin anymore, which is fucked up, but that's, there's not really enough I can do about that. Not at the moment anyway, because I'm pregnant. I'm trying really hard to protect myself mentally and physically. I'm, what I'm having to do every day is very difficult. Like when you're, when I've been eating before, I'll just put it out there for the last year I've not been eating a great amount as I've said I only really lose weight when I don't eat anything at all so my weight hasn't dropped significantly um, and then obviously when I found out I was pregnant I've, I'm having to do everything I can to look after the baby that's what I was saying in the past when I've been eating I'm doing it because I've gotten myself down to a weight where I feel I can justify eating it's never been about nourishing myself and looking after myself this is the first time in probably, well, I've had an eating sort of 17 years. This is the first time in well over 17 years where I'm eating to look after myself because I have a baby inside me. Obviously, I have it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying really hard to protect myself from shit like this. And I know that I'm putting myself out here. I'm talking about my eating disorder. Um, I'm a physical thing, so people are going to comment on my weight. I don't want you to. I don't want anyone to comment on my weight because it's not appropriate. I don't like anyone commenting on the way I look at all because I hate how I look. I've spoken in the past about how disgusting I feel, um, my face, l let alone my body. So I struggle with anything. Um, but comments about my weight, if there is anybody out there watching this who is uh, watching me for the anorexic porn, I'd rather you just, if you're going to watch, I can't stop you, but don't leave shitty comments about my weight back then or how I look now or how some put certain part of me look thin like somebody said like my arms were like their goal and all that and it's like throughout my whole time of having an eating disorder I could never get my head around anything doing anything like it saying anything like that I've been very open about my illness I always have been but to me it's it's an it is an illness whereas the people that comment this stuff and I know that there are people that have Instagram accounts and I'm sure I have people following me on Instagram that are like this um, I try and block as many people as I can because they're not going to get anything from my content. I can, I could never, ever, ever justify doing that or saying that, talking about glorifying thin. It's, it's not anything that I can get my head around. Yes, that's the body that I would rather have, but at the moment there are more important things in my life and that is what I'm having to focus on. Ugh. So basically I've come to the decision that I have created a second channel. It is called Bean and Me and it is linked down below. So if you want to go and subscribe, then I would love it if you did that. It is going to be purely pregnancy related stuff. Whilst I might touch on my eating disorder, I want it to be focused on my baby, uh, my pregnancy. I will be vlogging. I will be talking about baby stuff and just doing all of that. I'm going to keep the pregnancy stuff off of this channel because... When you're pregnant, you are vulnerable. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be uploading on this channel. I'm going to still be uploading the mental health stuff and my life stuff. But purely pregnancy stuff and baby stuff will be on that channel. Um, the channel is called Bean and Me. I have linked it down below. So if you want to go and subscribe, then please do. But understand that I need this to be a safe place for me because I am feeling very vulnerable at the moment. I need this channel to be a safe place to me as well. But I already have my previous videos on here, which I don't want to delete because... I know that there's some informative things in there. At some point I may get rid of them, but that would mean remaking some of the ones about like the information about my peripheral neuropathy and uh, my disabilities, which I probably will do at some point, but for now they're here to stay. So I need somewhere safe to go where I feel I can upload and there's not gonna be people coming to my way. This is about baby stuff. As I said, I'll be uploading on here. Um, I have lots of videos planned. I'll be uploading on both channels, but they are gonna be separate content and there might be a bit of crossover, but. I'm going to try and keep it separate. This is something that has been really affecting me. Um, I'm struggling every day to do the right thing. Actually, no, I'm not. Physically, I am doing the right thing. I'm not questioning it. If I need to eat something, I eat something. If I don't, I don't. Um, I'm 
looking after my body but mentally it is a battlefield it's my brain is in probably the worst place eating wise than it has been in a while because you know my body is changing every day and it's not something that I'm used to whilst it's a positive thing like my baby growing I love seeing that I love seeing my bump grow but mentally because I'm not fixed because there is no fix it's something that I struggle with and it's something that I think I will struggle with as I've said I think I'll struggle with it for the rest of my life um, maybe that won't be true maybe I'll be proved wrong but I kind of accepted that a little while ago and when I accepted that I started to feel more comfortable and able to work through things. If you want to follow my pregnancy um, and baby stuff then subscribe to Bean and Me which is as I said down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm sorry if I've been a bit kind of ranty or whatever but it's something that needed to be said for myself and if you're somebody that leaves these comments if you're somebody that watches me for those reasons don't. Simple don't. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.